Environment Secretary Gina Lopez is dead serious when it comes to saving what's left of the country's forests. She says they are now planning to craft policies to ban mining operations in protected areas. No more mining in any protected area. Her office just suspended the Environmental Compliance Certificates, or ECC, of two more firms. One is Austral Asia Link Mining Corporation, which has a nickel mine that lies between Mount Hamigitan, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Pujada Bay, a marine protected area in Davao Oriental. Environment officials say the company's mining operation caused siltation in the sea, and the wastes are still there. This is the stockpile here. If something happens like a Yolanda, and then there's an in increase of water level, that all that is going to go to the sea and kill the corals that we have. Also suspended is the ECC of Century Communities Corporation for a planned housing project at the La Mesa watershed. Lopez said developments in the area could contaminate the drinking water of 12 million people in Metro Manila. The developer has yet to get clearance from MWSS for the housing project. In a statement, Century Community says it will file an appeal. It points out the Supreme Court decision allowing the company to develop a housing project on the property. The Environment Department is also clearing Mount Banahao, another protected area of quarrying activities. About 20 quarries plus another 30 small quarries and right now all operations are stopped in the mountain. Environment Undersecretary Arturo Valdez says quarrying activities polluted the river. But the biggest risks are the huge boulders and rocks that could bury the town of Sariaya during heavy rain. The department will soon hold a nationwide audit on 800 ECCs. Ivy Saunar, CNN Philippines. Okay, Gina Lopez. Okay, this is not in connection, so I think I'm subverting, but I really have to say this. Because when um, Mani Pangilinan, you said that the areas that are going to be mined are not are ugly anyway that is so not true you know i've been it's not true that the areas that are going to be mined are 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 ugly you can't do anything there anyway i'll tell you about sibuyan sibuyan has the world's densest forest the country's cleanest inland body of water and yet the mining tenement was approved there on the top of agricultural land i have been to brooks point i can drink the river and the, the water in that stream, and yet the government has approved $1 billion worth of mining in that place. So when you say that the areas that, and I have all these people that come to my office, when you say that um, all these mining tenement places are in areas that are ugly anyway, I, I really think you need to go and visit it. Money, would you like to react? Well, Gina, have you been to Patkal? Have you been to Silangan in Surigadang Norte? Who would go there and, and, and develop a tourism site? There's nothing there. When we, as Jerry pointed out, I wasn't there, but I think when his father entered uh, Felix in Padcal, it was deforested, denuded. Since that time, we've planted seven million trees in that thing, right? And, you know, we have a self-contained community. We provide free housing, free hospitals, free education up to up to high schools. What else can we do? And we do, Christian. We have a post rehab plan. We set aside each year an amount of money because one day that mine will close. There's a post rehab plan that we have. Whether by law or not, we, we do. We care about the people at some point when these guys have to fend for themselves after the, after the mine. Uh, I'm, Gina, Gina last, wait, last. Let two me. seconds, two seconds. Wait. Uh, I'll just, I just want to say that I'm not. Two seconds, can I say? Short, uh, just really short. Yeah. I just want to say Wait. that I, when I say I'm not, maybe that place is nice, and I submit it may be nice. Okay, but I'm, I mean, it's not nice, and maybe that there could have been mining there. But when you make a statement that all the areas where there's going to be mining are ugly anyway, that's the point. Sigahan na ng Department of Environment and Natural Resources o DENR ang umanay paghahakot ng lupa ng China sa zambales na itinatambak sa Scarborough Shoal. Ito ang balita ni Ray Pelayo. Dalawang bundok at kalahati sa Ambales, pinagbili sa China. At sa lupang ito, dinala sa lapit ng Iskalboro, nakabuo sila ng 3,500 hectares. Doon sa tabi ng Iskalboro. 
Agad na ipinahinto ng bagong luklok na Sambales Governor na si Amor Diloso ang umanoy paghahakot ng China ng lupa sa bundok ng Santa Cruz Sambales na ginagawang panambak sa inaangking lugar sa West Philippine Sea. Ayon sa gobernador, nakakaalarma na rin ang itinatayong military base ng China sa Scarborough. I-airport na nga sila doon sa tabi ng Scalmoro. Ang Scarborough Shoal ang lugar na pangisdaan ng mga Pilipino na kasing laki ng tatlong bayan sa Sambales. Binili na nani Deloso ang mga mangisda na huwag munang lumapit sa lugar dahil gwardyado umano ito ng limang barko ng China. Ay naman kay DENR Secretary Gina Lopez, mananagot ang sino mang nagpahintulot dito. Whoever was remiss in, 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 in another country taking our soil to use as their landfill, then uh, heads should roll. Sa ngayon ay may anim na ring mining operations ang ipinahinto kung saan apat ang sa Zambales at dalawa sa Palawan. Ayon sa kalihim, maraming residente na malapit sa lugar ang naapektuhan dahil bumaba ang ani ng mga taniman at naapektuhan ang mga ilog at karagatan. Sumasailalim na rin sa ngayon sa audit ang iba pang mining operation sa bansa.